Angeles Billy Graham is in court. Burns' longtime friend and manager Irving Fine praised his long and creative life. Always on time or early, always prepared, he never missed a single performance and was a consummate professional. And as the years advanced and I would discuss his possible retirement, he would say, retire? What am I supposed to do? Stay home and play with my cuticles? Or he'd say, quit? I can't quit. Who would support my mother and father? You can't help getting older. But you don't have to get old. Born Nathan Birnbaum in 1896, Burns grew up in New York's Lower East Side. He quit school after his father died and joined a boy quartet that sang for pennies on the street. Burns was a vaudeville success, but it was playing straight man to Gracie Allen that made him famous. They fell in love and married in 1926. Why, what beautiful flowers! I'm so lovely, and if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have them. Me? What did I have to do with this? Well, it was your idea. You said when I went to visit Clara Bagley to take her flowers, so when she wasn't looking, I did. <laughs> His friends say until he suffered a fall in 1994, Burns was still looking and feeling pretty good. But he had been in poor health in recent months. He was set to perform in Las Vegas on his 100th birthday, but he was unable to. He died at home Saturday, 49 days after his 100th birthday. In Los Angeles this week, fans have been decorating Burns' star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Burns also has a street named after him. He is survived by a son and daughter, seven grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. We'll miss you. I know you took your music with you, so wherever you are, I hope they're playing it in your key. Manuel Gallegos, CBS News, Los Angeles. And that's the CBS Morning News for Wednesday, March 13th. I'm Troy Roberts. Have a great day.